All right, guys, as you can see, we are no longer going after northerns. That was pretty fun this morning. I actually met Tanner and Joe in the water. We saw a couple. It was tons of fun, though. But now we're going to switch gears. It's about 20 degrees out, so we are going to go smallmouth fishing. Anything to say, Tanner? I'm in my element right now. I grew up on the river. It's pretty fun to get to fish this time of year. We're looking forward to it, getting one last hoorah in. Exactly. It's going to be about, I don't know, a little windy out there, but we got waders right there. Waders are right there, rods. And what we're gonna be rigging up today for? Uh... Uh, we're gonna be using all artificial. We're gonna be using venom tubes, trying to imitate a crayfish. We're just gonna be working it off the bottom slow. Slow is uh, the key this time of year because they're kind of kind of lethargic, but you can usually get them to bite pretty good because there's not much pressure this time of year. During the summer, there's a lot of recreational fly fishers, guide trips, but they see anything like. Anything that moves this time of year, they know it's probably going to be a crayfish or uh, some type of forage because they're just not pressured. So, Yeah, if we can get five, ten fish on camp today, we'll call that a success, won't we? Yeah. Good. See you guys on the water. There you go. Are you serious? Yep. First fish, guys. That <laughs> took like no time here. It's, not, it's oh yeah look at that fish look at that i was just reeling up and there's a two 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 and a half pound smallmouth look at that fish hooked it right in the bone these beefy hooks are so sharp that was literally my first cast that's crazy it didn't take long give me some tanner for smallmouth all right guys we're gonna get the release here for you this is a healthy smallmouth all right here goes here's the release here a nice mississippi river smallmouth Nice job, Tanner. That was sweet. Yeah, yes. Fun. All right, guys. Tanner's hooked up over here. Walking over to him. Pretty big one or what, bud? It's a tree shaker, he says. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful Mississippi River small. Oh, that is a bruiser, Tanner. That is a three and a half. That's four pounder. It is February 10th, day before uh, Smalley closes, and we are hooked up. Look at that fish. Really cold out here, but... These fogs make it worth it. Sweet. They're really fat this time of year. Yeah, that is a nice small wolf. Tips are freezing, ears are freezing, smallies are hot. Smiles all around. All right, let's get the release on that one. Nice job, Tanner. Thank you. You got one? Yep, hooked up. Look at that, that's back-to-back -back fish, Tanner. Oh, there we go. Not a bad one. Little guy, little guy. There we go. It's not always about catching the big ones. No, it's Especially not. This time of year, most people are ice fishing. Yeah, I'm just happy to be out here, guys. But here, we'll get the release on this one. There she goes. Sweet, Tanner. Give me some, man. Nice going, buddy. That's the third small month of the day. It's not turning out to be too bad. If we can get a couple more, I like this, you know. Any kind of fish this year in open water is a bonus fish. Yeah, it is, because everybody else is ice fishing, but. We were literally on ice this morning, river fishing for spearing for northerns. And now we're out here trying to Just crank on some small moths. So, a little frozen guides, but. Just gotta deal with, uh, deal with the cards you dealt out here, because it's not, not very pleasant. No. That one came really shallow. To give you guys a little idea what we're doing here, so we're quite a ways off the shore here. I mean, this Mississippi River, we're probably about a third of the way out here. And we're on a little gravel bar here. I'm literally just over the edge over here. It drops off to, I don't know, 10 feet, Tanner? Yeah. Something like that. And there's probably scar um, some sparse rocks and, you know, what have you down there. And these smallmouth are just sitting sitting down there and waiting for the next meal to arrive. And we're dropping these craws right in their face. Oh, yeah. And we're basically casting up current with the craws and letting them drift down. And it's, uh, I don't know, we've been probably here. Oh, oh my gosh. I just got whacked and I missed them. Real shallow. Real shallow. Again? Shallow right there. There must be one, like, a couple of them right there, huh? Yeah. Sometimes all you'll find out here is, like, even a little stick or a little rock. That's all it takes because there's all gravel. And, uh, so it's just like a landmark that they just gravitate towards. On. It's been like non-stop out here guys. 
This is fourth fish. Tanner's gonna grab that one for me and just do a quick release because he ain't very big, but yeah. I mean, this is literally what ten minutes after that last fish. Yeah, it's uh, we found one. That's all it took, and then I said, Max, get over here. So mm -hmm. Max seemed to find him too. But there goes that one. Not a big one, but I'll take it this time of year. Is that the hook? There we go. Is he on? Is he on? Yeah, he's on there. There we go. Fifth fish of the day. The wind is whipping, but the small is your biting, boys. Yep. It's a great day for fish. Well, not really, but they're biting. They're biting. Oh. Is it a big one? I'll grab them for you. Man, this was kind of a spur of the moment idea to come out here, but it was worth it. To watch them big bronze backs fight. Look at this thing. Just digging, boys. Dive in the boat. Oh, wait. We're not in boats. We're wading. We're wading. That is a quality fish. They don't just come. Holy crap. That is a monster tanner. Look at this fish, guys. Yeah. Yeah, surface him right over here. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, that is it. Told oh, that is a giant tanner. That's a huge bass. That that's got to be well over four, don't you think? They don't make them that big very right? Yeah, this is one of the bigger fish I've seen out here in a long time. Big fish are pretty common out here, but they don't make them that big very right? often. Yeah, that is a big, big fish. And you can see he's been caught before because the side that he swims up current with, guys, this way. Look at this side right here. It is just all wrecked, and see the other side. Yeah. Yeah. They that little this side here is just gone because it's swim currently, and you set the hook on that side because most people fish this side of the river. But that's why catch and release is so important because you can catch these beauties over and over. Definitely. Let's see that smallmouth tanner. See, look at the belly. That's a big, big smallmouth bass. Oh. Look at this. They got some parasites Leech? on there. I don't know what those are. Just leeches, probably, huh? Because yeah. they're on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too long until these things are spawning. The females are pretty grouped up right now. Yeah, we're going to get a few pictures, guys, and we'll get the release on this beautiful fish. All right, going to grab a quick measurement on this fish here. Let's say 19 and a half. Holy crap. No, that's way over 19 and a half, guys. That's 21. 21 inch smallmouth. Look at that thing. Pull, pull the tape out just a little bit more. That's actually 21 and a quarter. Look at right there, guys. At the top. As you guys can see right there, lip, lips at the top. And then down here. We got 21 and 21 and a quarter. 21 and a quarter. That is a giant smallmouth. Get a quick picture here. Yeah, we're gonna get a release of this giant. I mean, that's that's a big fish there, guys. Dude, it's like a football. It's like a football. We don't call them footballs for nothing. Yeah, Super Bowl Sunday was last weekend. Now it's uh, now it's football season again. There we go. Look at his bearing. Sweet, give me some tanner. That was awesome. That's fun stuff. On. Are you really? Well, I'm recording, so perfect. Yeah, with them hooks that you're doing. All right, gonna get the release here. You're just beautiful, beautiful Mississippi River smallmouth going for the, for the release. Nice job, Tanner. Sweet. We're just on them today. We are on them. Number six, I think. Yeah. Big one. 16. Not a bad one Tanner has on here, I guess. Second spot, first fish here. It's a healthy little fish. Yeah, it is. Nice job, man. Well, we found one. We're at our second spot. Now it's just a matter of seeing if we can get on the school again. Exactly. What a fun day. All right, guys, we're going to go for the release here. Sweet, number seven. Number seven. Tanner straight beating me here because he gave me the I didn't the braid rod, all but the same he, equipment that I have. Braided rod versus fluorocarbon. I'm kidding. No. Tanner, you sucked up though. Not a big one or? Oh, that's a nice one. Is it? Yeah. Let me grab it for you. Is it? How big are we talking? How big are we talking? Are we talking? I'm talking giant like the last one, guys. 18, 18. You got him. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's all a 19. That's not as big as the last one. That is a big smallmouth. I don't want to fumble my football here. They curl up when they get cold. It's yeah, they do. It's cute. Kind of cool. I don't know. It's cute. Should we get the measurement on it? 18 inch or a little bit off, but 
God, that doesn't look that much smaller than the last one. But I guess so. Yeah. It's just thick, you know. All right, guys, we're gonna go for the release here now. Another gorgeous mammoth. Oh, I hit my leg. Nice job, man. Fun what an unbelievable day in the river, guys. I didn't know we're gonna, this we're gonna get into this, get into them this thick, but I'm not complaining. You? I'm not complaining either. Exactly. Well, people, we're calling it a day on the river. It was a very successful day, probably about 11, 12, something like that fish. I don't know if we got them all on camera. The GoPro ended up dying there. No, I had no more batteries. Here comes Tanner here. Looking real cute in shorts over here. Real cute. Look at his shorts here, people. I got shorts on. I think waders are a sign of weakness. Yeah, waders. Just kidding. I'm freezing. Let's get inside and warm up, huh? Yeah, it's a great day, man. I think so. <laughs> I don't know what... It's the gear, you can hear it. Tunt, tunt, tunt. <laughs> 